Det är nog bara att filma där. Eh, uh, är okay? The uh, biggest TV radio channel in Norway. They filmed something and told me to watch in August. Then it's something that's been broadcast. So, yeah. I'm actually on a sort of like an expedition. Yeah, five days solo. There is Hayama, close to Valle and Setstal. I'm paddling down there and there's a porter show there and uh, I've been driving for four and a half hours to get here. Uh, the we weather is very... Uh, it changes from rain, sun and there's been some thunder today so I hope that won't happen. So welcome to Magnus TNO. Changed the name from the Norwegian one to Magnus TNO. So well, uh, I'll just paddle down this lake. It's not too far, and there's a 200 meter portage, and I'm gonna find a cab because it's gonna rain much more today. And I'll tell you more when I get there, I guess. It really rained when I started. Uh, still have my rain gear on, and can't wait to get it off. Uh, but it's, it might come some rain later. So, but uh, I think my first port portage is over there. The first abiding, first portage. So, wow. It's really uh, beautiful here. So this is the uh, entry lake. Let's see what we can, what can, what how the portage is. It's about 200 meters, something like that. And uh, yeah, let's find out. Clearly a waterfall, so uh, yeah. Porters number one. About 200 meters, double portage, rain and sun. Yeah, a lot of boats. Not so, uh, not so wild as I thought it was. There's a cabin up there as well. There's no way there are cabins everywhere. But let's see what this corner has installed for us. Next now is to find a campsite and all of a sudden the sun is back. So yeah. <laughs> Okay. 
going that way, I'm trying to find a uh, place to stay for the night. Sad. The rain keeps coming and going, and yeah, and I got the wind in my back, so. See, I'm drifting the right way. Strams fume. I can shake it, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. That was windy. Uh, you can. I don't know if you can see, but uh, there are some. Uh, about the fraud, there are some white caps out there. Ooh. I was, uh, yeah, you just show, saw me checking out that little uh, peninsula. If there was a campsite there or not. Uh, it was way too windy. Yeah, so yesterday, they don't call it a fjord for nothing. So. But I still want to have some wind um, coming to a bay and to the uh, inlet, I think you said. It should be calmer there. I want to have some wind. I want to escape the bugs. So let's see what we find. Uh, I've seen some decent sights there, but I don't really like the, uh, the view to the cabin or, or the cabin's view to me. It doesn't look like there are people there. Uh, I definitely want to paddle on and I'm going to a channel here and maybe it's possible to get to her. See?
raus geht. wet that's, that's how it is the water is that cold so <clears throat> okay, so uh, my camp is set up. Uh, um, you know, it's been a very hot early summer, uh, but uh, there's been a weather change, and I'm at an altitude of uh, 750 meters or something. So uh, I'm wearing wool layers. It's the first time in a long time. Yesterday I was uh, swimming in the ocean and it was uh, 24 degrees Celsius in, in the ocean, close to where I live. So, so um, changes here. Uh, sun, suddenly it's all uh, a lot of wind, and uh, you can see. Yeah, my beard <laughs> is trimmed down and I have a funny hat. It's not the best campsite that I've been to, but uh, it's been a long day and it works. Now I'm gonna have full meal. I, it's actually been uh, 
No, I, I drove here for uh, four and a, it took four and a half hours and all the paddling and setting up this camp I discovered that with the driving and all the uh, canoeing and all the portaging and the setup here I've actually spent like 12 hours so I'm pretty tired um, it doesn't get dark here in Norway right now until uh, it doesn't really get that dark. I think it, you know, it gets really dusk. Is that what you say? It gets really dusk around around midnight and uh, a little bit of darkness, but then the light comes back so well uh, pasta Provence uh, I don't know what it is it's gonna be an easy meal and it's gonna be an early bed for me it's about uh, 9 p.m. now and uh, I'm gonna eat this uh, going early to bed so uh, and tomorrow I will probably uh, it's supposed to rain tomorrow so I don't think I will get an early start but I will paddle on later in the day and see how far I get so this time there is no uh, fire uh, this uh, fire it is a fire pan in Norway now, but you can't do a fire if it's been a heavy rain, which it has for the last uh, couple of days. But I'm on an island that isn't very suitable for camping, <laughs> uh, uh, so I want to have this quickly done and I will go early to bed. The good thing about this wind is that the bugs, the black flies, the gnats, knot, they uh, keep away so far. So, Just to show you the, the altitude that I'm on, um, so you can get clear view of what I'm talking about, just drying up stuff. Yeah, I have a two liter, no, three liter uh, water bag now. I love that thing. You see the snow? In the mountain? Well, it's still light outside. Uh, it's about 10.30 in the evening now and uh, I'm heading to bed it's been a long day lots of new uh, many new upplevelser lots of new experiences so uh, yeah thanks for following and uh, I'll see you tomorrow Morgen. Dag 2. Eh, uh, bra som i dag. Jag så gott i natt. Men jag ska nu paddla vidare. Eh, uh, bara över till ett nytt vatten. So it's day 2. It's a very supposed to be lots of wind and uh, rain on and off today. And it's been quite chilly really and this is not the best campsite 
that I've been to. See, it's all, all like this, all these uh, mounds everywhere, and uh, I just happened to find somehow decent flat. But I was sleeping like this all night, so. It's so windy and uh, it's going to be very windy today, so I'm not going out to the big lake, but I'm going to do one or two uh, portages, portages, and uh, quite honestly, it was a, yesterday was it was a very long day, lots of hours of driving, and uh, yeah, trying to find. A campsite, very difficult to find a decent campsite. So I hope the next lake uh, is better. So, so I'm gonna pack up here, and uh, I'll be mostly using the GoPro until camp, I guess. But my spirits are high again. Wasn't that high last night? <laughs> so, so much wind and uh, setting up this tarp was a uh, moderate, it was a nightmare, so the spirits are high again. Island on your egg. Okay, so I'm going there. It's not very uh, far, and there should be a portage. I think it's uh, probably over there. Yeah. Just a hundred meters uh, to the next lake. I heard about it, I think it's here before the process. And it should be a bit more than 100 meters, but it certainly looks like it goes a bit up and then down. going straight up so that's why I'm having a little bit of a hard time <laughs> straight up then we'll even out and yeah do a piece of case just 
150, 200 meters. That was tough. That's a part of the Norway for you. It was a decent trail. I've seen that uh, must have been people there before. So very steep up, and then slightly uh, incline and a little decline. So uh, I think this lake is a, a bit of a higher altitude than the lake I was on. So. so uh, I'm going to paddle down this lake and uh, I'll try to find a campsite there because if I get out to Stramfjord there will be too much wind that's risky business so uh, yeah that's how it is let's see what we can find Yeah, that's the exit from the forest right there. So it, that, you see that rock? Oh, yes. Yeah. Let me make a look at that. Lots of mosquitoes. And it's supposed to be a better uh, campsite than the Oh. Then uh, make a swallow of the mosquito. It absolutely don't taste any good. I'll be paddling against the wind, so it might be that I won't film too much. You see, kind of I spin around. Snow on the mountains here in Agder, the county of Agder. Wish me luck.
Uh, somewhere up there, there's some uh, old uh, mine shaft. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, it must have been years ago, probably decades ago since that was uh, abandoned. Uh, I'm not sure what they were searching for, but. Maybe you know. Looks like I have to go around. I have to go to shore. See. Whether or not I can portage. So. And there was some real winds here just before I went to been double uh, carrying and uh, just before I came for the canoe there was huge wind gusts so. but in the uh, distance is clearing up so I'm going to check out the, I think there's an island there and there's a uh, Oh, there's a peninsula over there. I'm gonna check those two out. They look, pr they look promising. So, rain and wind. That's you know, it's really hard. But uh, the, these hard trips is the ones you re uh, remember, right? So, uh, yeah. So I'm gonna find a campsite there. That's gonna be my place tonight. So. I'm not sure what the time is anyhow.